It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Every Thursday evening. It's like a Bad News Bears meetup. Gowdy, cat. Adults with a knack for hardball. Good cut. All right. Dip their toes in the fountain oh. of youth. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. All kids at heart. RVA Sandlot, a co-ed league that attracts players of all abilities and ages. Oh, man. It's been a while. I'm just going to go out there and probably face a couple of hitters. So <laughs> On this night, pregame butterflies set Will Gowdy a flutter. Any calls or are you just going to? I'm just going to throw. And I might whip out the Gowdy slurve at one point. The 44-year-old. Oh, man. Hasn't taken the mound in too many innings to count. Oh, it's been over a year. Well over a year. The former hurler for St. Christopher's had visions of making the bigs. Oh, good Lord. This is bad. He soon realized his dream was just that. Oh, I got it. Oh, Whew. this is going to be interesting. Whew. One more inning, maybe. Will has discovered yet another way. No glove is ever too, too beyond repair. Yeah. To stay connected to the game. It can be resurrected, absolutely. Will's passion goes well beyond the base paths. Oh, absolutely. I love it. I love it. His fan apartment, a shrine to America's pastime, and his favorite team. Ah, Fenway, without a doubt. <laughs> all day. Baseballs don't fall far from the family tree. It's his own handwriting on this. His relative, Hank Gowdy, played in the World Series more than a century ago. He was also part of the 1914 Miracle Braves of Boston. And there's a long ride to deep So that definitely gets me going in the morning. <laughs> Another uncle with Hall of Fame pipes called Major League Games for decades. My great uncle would be Kurt Gowdy the longtime voice of the Boston Red Sox. The younger Gowdy is gripping the game in his own unique way. I normally do that for every single loop. A professional graphic designer by trade. Will flashes the leather in his living room. And once all of this lace is out, I'll move on to the cleaning process. Will refurbishes well-worn baseball gloves that need lots of TLC. The way the glove is broken in, I can tell what position they most likely played. I can tell how serious they were. His obsession was born during the pandemic. I plan on adding a palm pad in there. I went ahead and dremeled some holes to make it more of a modern pattern. He learned his trade online from aging members of a small fraternity of glove gurus. And I just kept hounding them and hounding them, and they took me under their wing and started calling me the kid <laughs> in my 40s. <laughs> the hobby has turned into a sidearm side hustle. Once I see the sheen going, that's when I know it's pretty much sealed. He snips and clips and cleans every one with surgeon-like precision. With the older the leather it is, the easier it is just to make the wrong move and top grain just comes right off and you've ruined it. Will can spend hours, days and weeks on a single thrift store find. Yeah, that's where the results really come out. It's definitely not something for the impulsive type. Will says, hands down, modern gloves can't compete with vintage. I'll find a glove from the 60s and it'll be five times better than any other glove you could possibly buy today. In this disposable society, repairing gloves is becoming a lost art. Increasingly more rare, which is kind of sad. While he admits he still has much to learn. I take extraordinarily meticulous notes. <laughs> Will is determined to go extra innings. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And I hope to only continue to progress. And maybe that, that, that's the way I'll get to the show. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.